Hi, I'm Meg Allen, and this is American Snowmobiler Tech Tips. As every snowmobiler knows, the suspension under your sled is one of the greatest factors to ride quality. That's why our cameras have traveled here to Logan, Utah, to one of the top race teams here in the West, the Zebros. And we're going to visit with world champion Nate Zollinger. And Nate's going to show us about his state-of-the-art Ars FX suspension and exit shocks. Hi, Nate. How are you? Doing great. How are you doing today? Wonderful. And it's great to have you here. And we're excited to have American Snowmobiler here in our shop today and to show you, the viewer, some of the important things that go into building a quality shock absorber as well as uh, suspension components that can greatly increase the ride quality of their snowmobile. And we're also going to go over some of the uh, tuning tips that go into the shocks as well as some of the installation um, that can be used uh, over the weekend uh, to install your shock. Today we're going to start with the front suspension and the package that's incorporated therein. First the A-arms for the M-series Arctic Cat and some of the key features that go with that package as well as the shock absorber and we have a couple of options. Um, we have a non-adjustable triple rate shock and when I say triple rate, I mean it has three springs and the purpose of the three springs is to incorporate a ride quality that is like that of having a sway bar but you don't have a sway bar. Um, all of our shocks are tuned to rider weight as well as the specific chassis that they're going on. The other feature that we offer is our X, in our X1 shock is the compression adjuster and some people call this a clicker but the purpose of this little knob here is to adjust the compression dampening of the shock absorber externally without taking the shock apart and readjusting the valving. You're able to do it with a simple turn of the knob and adjust your ride quality stiffer or softer depending on what you need in that particular day. As I mentioned earlier, there's some key factors in, that go into our design of our M-Series A-Arm such as maximum ground clearance. Um, this bend that you see here in the arm allows the arm to be a little bit farther away from the snow which helps you to avoid rocks and stumps and some of those little gremlins that always jump up and, and grab you as well as the unique look that um, sets it apart from a stock A-arm. Um, I mean what's the point of buying an aftermarket A-arm if there's no uniqueness uh, that sets you apart from your friend who has a, a factory A-arm. Um, the other factor that goes into all of our A-arm construction is we use 4130 chromoly um, that's TIG welded and that's for strength and durability. Um, coming from the racing background that we do at Zebros Racing, uh, we work closely with a lot of factory supported riders on all brands and we worked very closely with the Arctic Cat team the last several years to develop this A-arm um, and to get their feedback and to test on the race circuit so you know that if it can hold up to the punishment that they're going to put it through it's going to hold up to the punishment that you're going to put it through. Now Nate, I have a question for you. How hard is this to install? Well Meg, it's relatively easy. Um, the A-arms are a little bit more intense than the shock installation. Um, basically you just remove your five bolts that hold your factory A-arm to the bulkhead and then reinstall in the same fashion. Um, all of our kits come with instructions and as long as uh, everybody takes advantage of those instructions you'll save yourself some time. Um, as far as the shot goes, it's very simple. It's basically just uh, bolt it up and you're done. Um, it's easiest on the M-Series sled if you insert it down through the lower A-arm and then just hook up your top shock bolt first. It's easiest. And then move to your lower shock bolt. And there, it's basically a bolt and go deal. It's, after you install the upper shock bolt, you can just simply install the lower shock bolt as I'm doing here. And sometimes uh, these can be a little bit tight depending on the model, but uh, with a little bit of time and effort, it should just slide right in. And uh, now you just tighten down your upper shock bolt and your lower shock bolt, and you're finished. After installing the lower shock bolt and the upper shock bolt, you're probably wondering, you know, now what do you do with the reservoir? And that's where the installation instructions come into play. And basically, if you look at the photos that are included, as well as this hardware kit that's included in the package, you basically use these clamps to attach the reservoir to the front of your nose cone here. And there is a couple of holes that you have to drill to install it, but it's very simple. It's just two quarter inch holes here and here. 
and then it mounts the reservoir nicely so it's easy to access your external adjuster knob as well as to adjust your preload adjustment and you might wonder well what is the purpose of preload adjustment and that's basically the way that you adjust not only your ride height but also the amount of progression that you're going to have in your spring rate so by adding preload you're basically increasing the rate of your spring at, uh, at its final point um, and by reducing your preload you soften the ride or uh, lessen the amount of final poundage 